Please, come on. Pretty please. Look, Lilacore, I know it's been about ten minutes since we were last in a fight with something, but just be a little bit more patient, okay? This quest seems like it's got no combat in it, but I assure you, it will have some combat. Practically every quest that we ever do will have some combat in it, so just be a little more patient. Please? I know you don't know the meaning of the word when it comes to combat, but please, just a little. Okay. I'm glad we understand each other, or at the very least, you've stopped talking. Let's move on, shall we? Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition, The Shadows of Arm. And when last we left off, we need to go and find some lithium, and we've been directed to somebody who's in the Copper Coronet to go and get it. We need 200 pounds of a lithium, and that is a lot of a lithium, that I'm sure is worth a lot of money. There was also a minor magical mishap concerning the Nether Scrolls and Edwin, a powerful transmutation spell that Edwin thought would do something like elevate him to a near godlike status, and instead turned him into a woman. We've promised Edwin that we will help her figure out how to reverse the spell, but for now, we can't do anything about that. Edwina has the scroll, and she is the one best suited for dealing with figuring out how to reverse it. But if there's something we can do, I'm sure Even we will. Each and every person here. They mock me with their eyes. I'm sure they don't. Mm. Let's head over to the slum, shall we? Mm. We're as ready as we'll ever be for any combat that's going to happen. There may be some. There isn't any. You always have to be careful when you're in Athcatla. Combat could come from anywhere. From that wagon. From there. From inside the copper coronet itself. It's very unlikely there's going to be anything else combat-wise happening in the Copper Coronet. We want to go over here because there's somebody here that fits the description that we were given by the Ore Merchant. This person here, who is indeed Unger Hildark. Let's have a conversation with Hildark, shall we, and see if we can get that Alithium. Your chatter is starting to wear on me nerves. What are you staring at? Ain't illegal to be a dwarf, last I heard. Take your eyes off of me and put them someplace else. No need for hostilities. Jurlia sent me. I wish to discuss Elithium. She did, did she? I'll have to have a chat with the lass. I trust you paid her enough that there will be some for her to split with me. She will see that it is wise to do so. So you seek Elithium, do you? I have none, and I won't be getting any any time soon. Now that that's out of the way, goodbye. Wait, this could be very profitable for you. Won't you reconsider? It doesn't matter, fool. I don't have any lithium. It's that simple. My source is inaccessible, and you aren't getting any. Get angry if you wish, but it won't help. Well, this is going well, and by well I mean not even slightly. You sound like this was not a planned shortage. What is the problem? Oh, so now you wish to be my friend. Why should I bother with you at all? I'm not interested in harming a simple merchant. Where else would you get help? Nowhere. This place is unfriendly to even the pathetic dwarves of Hill and Mountain. All right, fool. If you wish to share my problem, I'll give it to you. You want a lithium? You can wait for it. We mine it deep in the earth, and it's dangerous going. It's rare enough when production is normal. This is all useless information, though, because my latest shipment was stolen from under me, so there's no lithium for anyone for another season or more. I'll exact justice for you. I'll take the lithium I need and leave the bandit dead. If you want to go chasing after him, that's your business. It's lost to me anyway. I show my face and it'll have the guards on me just for being Durga. Typical of this city. I'm just a poor businessman, but I'll be jailed just for my shadowed skin. This bastard that robbed me looks like a rock gnome, so he's welcome with open arms. They wouldn't guess of what a fiend he is. After I hired him, I found out what he'd done. I suppose that's why he cheated me and took off. Don't you worry. Just point me in the right direction. Yes, well, you can go after him if you like. Last I heard, he was holed up in the bridge district. A derelict little place bought with my gold. Here, I'll even mark it on your map there. He won't be moving much. He was on the run from Baldur's Gate when I met him. Oh, I suppose you'll want his name as well. His name was Neb. He left a few families crying or so, I hear. 
Tell his corpse that Unger Hildark sent you. Oh, don't worry, we will. Did you hear that, Lilacor? Combat's going to happen, I bet you're thrilled. You're probably not going to say anything, are you? Let us go back to the uh, district we were just at, the Bridge District. We left, but we keep getting pulled back there. It's like something important's going on. This is only a side quest, it's not that important, but it's still nice to do. It's not far. And there was no combat, and the person that we spoke to here is now gone. Now I believe it was marked, and it's over here. Excellent. So we'll pop over here, and then head up to that house. It doesn't look that derelict to me. I believe there's something interesting that happens over here, that's worth having a look at, which is why I'm waiting for the party to assemble here. We do need to be careful though, combat could happen at any time. Anywhere could be an ambush point, but we are currently fine. Leave me be. Edwina is not happy. Let us cast a few spells, shall we? We need a little bit of buffing. And nobody cares that we're doing this. That money we spent on that license, very well spent. Let's go up here, shall we? And a little bit further. You shall never have her, you ridiculous fool. Something's going on here. It looks like there's about to be a fight. No. It is you that she'll never have her. She loves me. No. She loves me. Me. Boys, boys, don't fight over me, please. Fight over her? What an excellent idea. Yes, we shall fight over our beloved bubbles. Yes. That sounds most wonderful. Shall we start now? Certainly, if you wish to. Certainly. <sighs> well, fine, go ahead then. If that's what you boys have to do. Combat! We're not involved in it, but we get to watch. Ten Gold says they both die. What do you mean, both die? Well, the one who ends up winning will die from their wounds. If they can even hit each other. There you go! Just keep stabbing there! Honestly, this is kind of sad. They appear to be exchanging blows. Who will win? This is taking a lot longer than it normally does. They are rolling really poorly on their to-hit rolls. Stay back, or you'll regret it! Aha! That moron Shank is now dead! I'm victorious! Come, my bubbles. Let us go and celebrate this blessed event! Whatever. I'm out of here. Bubbles? But, but Bubbles? Honey Melon, where are you going? And off she goes! And now she's heading up there. There's no way you can leave that way. Unless you phase through the wall or just vanish into thin air. Well, I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. Let's pretend we never saw that strange event occur, and move on. Here's the place we need to be, and we've got to presume that the person we're going to be facing is going to be a tricky foe. A little bit more spellcasting wouldn't go amiss. Let's get this going. And maybe a bless would be useful as well. Marvelous. We're as ready as we'll ever be for a dangerous fight. Let's go in. Oh, it's locked. Hmm. Well played. It's not locked anymore. Now we'll go in. You... you wouldn't hurt a gnome, would you? Have you reason to be here? I do not recall summoning such as you. Do I... know of you? I do not think it is so. I am here to take what you stole from Unger Hildark. Unger? So you support the morally grey with the slaughter of the morally red? Think of what my death will mean. Think of the children. <laughs> Come then, attack, and your death shall be a riddle for some other fool to solve. That's not going I to happen. I tolerate only so much. Edwina is angry, and this anger is about to what be vented out on you. Be quick with Three it. warriors attacking. Oh, Hexat shooting with a bow. Yes, it is. Baconia could also attack. Why not? Like. Oh, when you said, uh, children, you meant these 
children's spirits that are here. Oh dear. I will listen. Well, we'll Hold deal with the these what presently. Want, we'll have Edwin, Edwina wait for Neb to reappear. Ah, that's not so good. You're not going to be able to do very much damage here, are you? Now, you saw that there. I certainly did. Lilacor is complaining even though we are currently fighting. You're right over there. I know you're over there, Neb. Very well. Oh, there we go! You made the foolish mistake of deciding to attack. And that's pretty much going to be the end of you. Stop drinking all my potions, there we go. We have Neb's head. We also have Elithium Ore. And a really infeasible dagger. I don't know why we'd need Neb's head. But we'll take it. Not some beast of hmm. And we'll have Are you take no all of this. We do have uh, something we can use to identify this dagger. It really doesn't make much sense. Neb's Nasty Cutter plus two. This is a vicious weapon used by Neb, covered with old blood and coated in a poison that is both quick acting and extremely deadly. Only the truly evil would dare to use this item on their own. Once the poison is used up, however, Neb's Cutter will act as a normal enchanted dagger. Ah, there are only so many charges of the uh, poison available. We're probably not going to use it. Let's have a look at uh, this. This is the head of Neb the Gnome. Really has a more despicable being roam the land. We'll have you hold on to that, shall we? And we have this. This is 200 stones of pure Elithium ore. Elithium is renowned for both its luster and its unique property of never becoming soiled. Yeah. Well, we have what we need. What Let's see if we can find anything else while we're here. There's lots of stuff here. It's just a question of finding out which things mm -hmm. are trapped, because inevitably, something here is going to be trapped. Like that, for instance. You are lucky I'm here. Indeed we are. Certainly. We'll deal with that. And that. Ooh, that's quite nice. Fire shield and lots and lots of goodies. And some potions. Very nice. This really doesn't look very derelict whatsoever. Maybe Neb did a little bit of work in uh, sprucing the place up. Maybe. There's nothing else trap-wise. There's a gold piece. And a book we're not going to pick up. Two books we're not going to pick up. And lastly... 11 gold we are going to pick yeah. up. We're pretty much done here. Maybe we could go and hand that uh, head over to uh, Dark Hill at some point. But for now, we're going to head back over to the government district and hand over all of that Elithium. If that's what you want. A thousand gold for the Elithium is not really a bad price at all. I don't know how much we're going to get uh, from the Temple of Helm. In the name of the council, I am here to keep order. Hold! You there! What have I told you about begging in the government district? Are you referring to... me? Or are you referring to the person that uh, we gave a gold piece to before? Nope, no idea who are you're you referring to. In purchasing a bit of merchandise, my friend? Oh, hello, Jan. This is Jan Janssen, everybody. Jan Janssen is by far one of my favorite companions in this game. Jan Janssen is a gnome illusionist thief and is invaluable as one of the thieves that gains levels as you are adventuring because Emmawin and Nalia don't gain levels being dual class. Jan is a really funny character to have around, has great dialogue, great interactions with everyone, and is pretty good at being both a thief and a spellcaster. Unfortunately, we have a full party. And even if I didn't, Yarn is not evil, so we'd have to pass up on having Yarn. It's a sad thing to not have Yarn in my party, but you don't get Minsk, I don't get Yarn. We all have to make our sacrifices. Why not? What merchandise do you carry, good now? Well, you've got the look of an adventurer about you, I've been one myself, betwixt stints as a turnip salesman, that is, 
Occasionally, the markets get down, and the formerly self-respecting purveyor of fine veggies are forced to prostitute their abilities in the form of adventuring. All right, all right, what are you getting at? What I'm getting at, oh so friendly one, is that I've items to sell that are specially created by yours truly to aid one on the dangerous path to heroism. They're known as Jan Janssen's, that's me, Flashmaster Bruiser Mates. Now pay attention, you take one of these babies and chuck it at Average Joe Orc, close your eyes real tight, and whoosh! He's running around in circles, clutching at his eyeballs, and screaming and yelling like Uncle Sven after three days on a turnip beer bender. I trust all is well. Hold, gnome, in the name of the Army and Revenue and Taxation Board. Ugh, not again. That bottom-feeding, turnip-hating, scum-sucking brigand. Nothing better to do than stop an honest businessman from selling high-quality illegal flashes for a reasonable price. Here he comes. Cover for me. I trust all is well. Jan Janssen, gnomish citizen of Arm, you have been charged with tax evasion and the illegal sale of illegal items in an illegal manner. Could you say any more instances of the word illegal there? Surely I could, but it would be illegal. You got me there. Trax, old friend, you do me a great wrong. I would never break the law. As my poppy always said, enough. You'll not sidetrack me with your cursed tales again. I'm smarter than you think. <laughs> Shut up, you! Latrine duty beckons. That's better. We've been onto you for days, Janssen. We've caught you in the very act of selling your dangerous and illegal contraptions. What cruel fate! Falsely accused by an old friend. I'm not your friend, Janssen. You're not anyone's friend. Oh, that's it. Do you enjoy guarding used chamber pots? I'm sorry, sir. I swear, this job will land me in an asylum. And who might you be? You're certainly no regular customer of this felon. I'm Terry Coleman, an adventurer. Well, Terry Coleman, did this gnome try to sell you illegal merchandise? Specifically, flashers, as he calls them? I don't know what you're talking about. We were simply talking about the weather. Curses! The gnome has gotten to you, too. Janssen! No longer peddle in Athcatla. As for you, Terry Coleman, you have made a dangerous enemy. Who's the dangerous enemy? I am, you idiot! Move it back to the office! I think we did quite well there. Unfortunately, there's the minor Bagel's problem. A truly evil man. Uncle Scratchy seems like a saint in comparison. Regardless, it seems that I'm once again out of the black market. At least until I scrounge up a fortune to set up my business and have Trax's superiors well bribed. Do you be needing a hand in your party? I was a little concerned that we would just walk off the screen forever and there would just be us staring at a completely empty screen as Jan kept chasing. And also, what is Dawn doing over there? Dawn, did you decide to take the long scenic route? We're going to politely decline, because we have no need for you. I'm sorry, Jan. I wish I could have you along as a seventh party member. There's loads more space here. We could have loads of people, but six is the max. Thank you for offering, but I believe it to be better that I go on without you for the time being. Your loss, if you change your mind, I live in the less than opulent side of town. The slums, if you will. I'll probably have a turnip stand, slowly working my way up to a nice bribe. Good luck to you. Good luck to you, Jan. Seriously, I didn't know which way you were going there, Dawn. I was going to take the direct route and just jump off there, and then I realized that would have probably broken my legs. It would have broken your legs, Dawn. How observant of you. Let's just wait for Dawn to catch up, and then hmm. go report on our success. Whatever you decide. And then I think we'll see if uh, we can do anything with that head that we've got in our backpack right now. We may be able to get a nice reward for it. You're going to ignore me, which is fine. You, on the other hand, are not going to ignore me. Oh, do go away. Well, I did not expect to see you back here so soon. Perhaps next time I should request to work only in blood-forged meteoric adamantite. Ah, lithium ore in its rarest form. Can you feel the primal energy wafting off of it? It practically screams for a firm hand to shape it, mold it, 
caress it. Uh, yes. You have met my demands. I will work for your lord and compose a fitting tribute to his glory, or some such. My muse will decide. I thank you on behalf of the followers of Helm. Our business is concluded. The peace will be delivered when it is done. I will dispatch a messenger to collect my fee and tell your church of my decision. Looks like we're done here. Excellent. Well. We should return to the church and report our success. Oh, we will. But first, we're going to pop over to the slums again and see if we can do anything what with that like? head that's in a backpack. You have a really boring job, soldier there. But you have a good view. That's a really nice view. But it's probably really boring. Really boring. Especially in this district, nothing probably goes on. I say that just as we'd met Yarn. That's probably the most interesting thing that's going to be uh, going on in this district for a while now. We might not be back here for some time. Until we want to go do that quest for that cowled wizard. Let's quickly pop over to the slums. It's not much of a detour after all. We may even get some money from... Uh, the uh, church. Maybe. You must gather your party before venturing. Don't worry, the party's pretty much gathered. We'll just quickly see if uh, there's anything we can do here. He may not even be here anymore. He is still here. Good. Let's say hello, shall we? We did what you asked. I need a swig of some strong dwarven hail. Hello, fool. Stay out of my way, will you? Healthiest thing for both of us. Yeah, Not much we can do then. Fair enough. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Leave out of this door. And then quickly pop over to the church and report on our success. And then we may go down into the sewers and see about dealing with that quest. It is quite a long quest. I'll think about that one. For now though. We'll pop here. Of into here. And say that we've done it. Was it you we wanted to talk to? I think it was. If that's what you want. Duty is the greatest honor, and duty to Helm is above all. The unsleeping eyes of Helm have much to keep them busy now. We have received word that Sals will work for us. I cannot thank you enough. Now, to what you are owed. You have served Helm with due care and have earned a portion of the artist's commission to cover any cost you paid. And it exactly covered the cost that we paid. Marvelous. You have earned more than mere gold as well. Helm is practical, and would have his payment be so as well. You shall have the Helm of Glory to further yourself. Report back to me when you are able. We have allies that will require your service. That is a fine reward. The Helm of Glory, Helm of the Noble, Armor Class plus one, Charisma plus one, protects against critical hits. It is a fine, fine helmet. We're going to give that to somebody. I think we could give it to you. There we go. Your armor class is now minus one. But more importantly, we can now give this over to Edwina, increasing Edwina's maximum health substantially. I'm waiting. And when we come back, folks, we have finished that quest. There are more quests to do, as well as the quests that we still have to get, like another mission for the temple here. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. See, Lilicor, we did have combat. It was brief, but it was combat. And we got an awesome helm for it. Definitely worth it. Also... Is it ironic that we got a helmet from the Temple of Helm? Maybe not. Maybe not. Later.